Yeah, but Debbie YouTube, what's up boys and girls? It's your boy Zockstar. Once again, coming at you with another vlog. On today's vlog, I'm doing a bit of an unboxing uh, and, a, and a review. Um, if you're like me and you use two computers, um, I have two laptops, so I'm working on one to editing and sometimes I use the second one just to search for certain things and then I need to sort of transfer it from one to the other. It can get a bit stressful because you've either got to put it on a hard drive, plug it in, unplug it, plug it in, unplug it, or email it to yourself. You know how hard that is. I've discovered a new way to do that in a matter of seconds. Um, I'm going to show you what I use to control two computers, and if you want, you can control three computers. So let's get into this. Without any further ado, let's scooby-doo. Okay, so welcome back guys. As I mentioned before, if you're a user of two computers, multiple computers, and you're always changing from one mouse to the other, like I have, I've got two computers here, one here and one there. Um, when I'm editing on, my, on one of my laptops, sometimes I need to search something or just find out how I do it or what I need to do, I use the other laptop. Like if I want to download like a new emoji and use that on one of my videos or a sound effect I'll search it on one laptop and then transfer it to the other normally I used to put it on a USB stick I plug it in transfer it to that unplug it plug it into the other computer then you know what I mean um, sometimes with files as well you do it I used to do it like that with the with the external hard drive another way to do it is you can either email it to yourself and then you download it in the next computer and like that just it's just too too stressful um, this method that I've just found out about a few days ago blew my mind. This thing is amazing. I bring to you the Logitech, Logitech, is that right? Logitech MX Master 2S series of mice, computer mice. This thing has the ability to control three computers. And the way it does that is it moves the mouse pointer from one computer, you slide it to the second one, and you slide to the third one. Sounds mind-blowing, doesn't it? I thought the same. I didn't think it was possible, but I did a bit of research, and apparently it can. It's called some sort of Logitech flow, where you, your mouse goes from one computer to the next computer to the next computer. And from what I'm reading and I've heard, this can go from a Windows computer to a Mac computer, and backwards and forwards. Pretty amazing, if you ask me. So, um, without any delays I just want to yeah just show you this um, this is the the box it comes in very nice looking box Logitech always boxes their stuff really nice this one's got like a like a magnetic little flap in there and as you can see it is quite large um, I do have a large hand I do prefer to have a larger mouse if I can get one there have been Others that are quite large, but I just haven't been comfortable with them. Uh, currently, I'm using the Logitech M705. That's my workhorse I've been using for the last couple of years. And this, to be honest with you, this mouse is amazing. It does its job. It's got a scroll wheel, backwards and forwards button. Um, it's got a little, little clicker in there as well. Um, push that, the free wheels. If you can see that, it's just spinning around, or you lock it and you get that. <laughs> so, this has been a workhorse for me for the last couple of years. And the one thing I like about this mouse is when you're not using it, it shuts down, it doesn't use power. Uh, I've had this mouse for over a year on the same batteries. The switch off technology, I believe, is the go with these with the new mice. Well, I mean, what was the point of having it connected? if you're not using it, it should be able to automatically disconnect and go into sleep mode, which this one does. I believe this one does the same. Apparently it can last something like 71 days. This doesn't, you can't put batteries in this one. It comes with an inbuilt battery and you charge it by a USB cable and apparently from a five, 10 minute charge, you get like 71 days or something, 70 odd plus days out of, out of a full charge. 
Um, if you give it a quick three minute charge, it gives you something like seven days worth of operating, but it does come with a switch like this one. You can't turn it off. And yeah, this is it. So I'm gonna do a bit of an unboxing. I'm gonna go down low and show you what's in the box. So stay tuned, let's go down. Okay, and here we have it. The Logitech MX Master 2S series of mice. First of all, the box packaging, very nice. Comes with a magnetic latch. You open it up and it's, as you can see, the window there, very nice. Very nice display box, if you ask me. Um, so let's not waste any time. How do we open this? We've got these plastic thingamajiggies. Okay, let's let's get some scissor rollers and come on. All right, let's open. So underneath we have the instruction manual and the USB charge cable. I did say this is a chargeable, rechargeable mouse. Um, as you can see there, you plug in the USB and it actually charges the mouse up. Um, let's peel this off. Let's get rid of that. Okay, now you can see on the bottom there, there's a one, two, and a three. Obviously, computer one, computer two, and computer three. Obviously, push that. Tells you which which computer you're on. Or you can use the, what's it called? The Logitech Flow. Now, I will show you that once I've done unboxing this. Um, it does come with one of these little, I'm not sure if, you, if you've seen them before like a little USB dongle, I think they call them a unifying receiver. You plug that into a USB port of your computer and you don't have to search the Bluetooth device for a connection. So, pretty cool. I don't pref I don't like that. I like to plug it or connect it via Bluetooth because um, it just takes up a port of your computer. Now, very nice. This one sits really nice in my hand. I do, as I said, I've got a big hand and I prefer something that actually cups the inside of my palm. The other mouse I showed you before was, didn't, wasn't as high and it just cramped my hand up, especially when you're video, video editing, your hands do tend to cramp up a bit. Um, now the buttons are very nice, not sloppy at all. Um, you do have two buttons here, a forward and a back button, and with this mouse you have another scroll wheel right there, which is pretty cool. And you can set these like you can with most mice. You can allocate certain features for each button, wheel, have you what. Uh, let's turn her on. Okay, so you can see it's flashing on number two. Um, and also there is a button just here so that can be when you're scrolling here using your backwards and forwards you do have a button there on that side it's in freewheeling mode I don't know if you can see that it's just freewheeling but when you can I push that button it goes into the I don't know what you call that ratchet ratchet mode so there you have it guys, that's what's in the box, not much. Uh, let me just read a bit of this. Um, take multi-device to a new level with Logitech Flow. The mouse allows you to seamlessly control up to three computers and even copy and paste text, images and files between them. That's what I was saying in my intro, you can actually like, right click copy 
drag the mouse and the pointer will go from one computer to the other computer and then you right click paste and you've transferred the file or text um, that's it's amazing I've never heard of that before so I'm very interested in trying that out um, dark field high precision tracking tracks any surface even glass up to 4000 dpi which is pretty good my other one claimed it could do glass but it struggled uh, fast rechargeable battery holds up to 70 days on a full charge unique scrolling experience smart speed adaptive scroll wheel features auto shift from click to click to hyper fast scroll plus a thumb wheel for side to side scrolling um, yeah really nice comfortable shape uh, the perfect crafted the perfectly crafted hand sculpted shape provides comfortable natural position for long hours and that's what I need it for um, so there you have it guys that's that's all there is just a mouse I don't think you can even open it, it's got two screws in here, not like your normal mice where you can actually open them and replace batteries, but there you have it, the new Logitech MX Master 2S series. Now once I go back up on deck I'm going to show you what you need to do to actually get these mice to work on two different computers. So I'll get onto that right now. Stay tuned. Okay, so <clears throat> once you got your mouse out of the box, charged up and ready to go, uh, you need to go to the Logitech.com website. Um, you go over to the support, go over to downloads, um, find your product. So we're looking for mice and pointers. Bluetooth wireless mice and we need to look for the there it is MX Master 2S so let's click on that uh, now registering your product you can do that if you like I was sent to do that a bit later on once I've got it up and running getting started uh, so let's go to that one straight away Okay, so it's giving you instructions here. Step one, step two, step three, step four, and step five. So step one, you need to download the Logitech options to use all the possibilities the mouse has to offer. To download and learn more about the possibilities, go to logitech.com.options. Step two, so once you go there, you download the actual Logitech um, options, I think it's called. And once you've done that, and it's, up, it's, it's loaded into your computer, then you need to obviously go to uh, step two. Um, now I've already done that on both of my laptops. You will, I'll show you in a minute what that looks like once that's open. So you turn your mouse on, this mouse, this mouse allows you to use it with, with up to three computers. Just use the easy switch button to change the channel. So like I said, underneath the mouse, you've got the three buttons if you don't want to use the, the Autom automatic feature from going from computer to computer you can just push the button and it'll go to each computer separately um, to connect your mouse to the computer press the easy switch for three seconds when it blinks okay it's in discover mode choose you want to okay now it says here it'll let you ask you if you want to ch uh, if you want to pair with the bluetooth or with the provided unifying receiver that was that little dongle i showed you now i've got a new Dell XPS 15 laptop top of the range awesome editing machine powerhouse and I've got an older Dell Alienware 17 inch laptop I tried for about five to ten minutes trying to hook up the Bluetooth and it didn't want to have a bar of it my Logitech the previous Logitech M705 mouse that I that I showed you I had the same issues with that it just would not find it wasn't discoverable I tried updating bluetooth drivers and have you what and it just made no difference so this saved me a lot of stress i just plugged in that little dongle and that was it so that's what i've done with these two computers now the alienware 17 inch laptops running the dongle and my dell xps 15 is 
um, on the Bluetooth. So they're all connected. So once you've done all that, um, you'll be prompted with, or you'll arrive to this this screen here. And as you can see here, it's got your your allocation, your buttons for you, what you want to do with them. Um, I've set them pretty much as standard. Scroll wheel, this one sort of changes the mode shift for this wheel. So when you click that mode shift button, this wheel will free, free wheel, like just roll, roll continuously. Or when you click it, it'll actually go into the ratchet system. Uh, there is a button there I showed you before, on your, say with your left thumb, you can click that. You can choose what you want that to do. And same as these side buttons. I normally have them just set in the default settings. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this scroll wheel at the, at the time being. Uh, when I scroll with this wheel in my editor, it actually moves the timeline forwards and backwards. So I don't, I'm still undecided on what, what I'm going to do with this wheel at the moment. So as you can see, typical mouse settings, it's got your point of speed, your smooth scrolling, your scroll, scroll wheel direction, typical or you want in inverted I just leave these pretty much on on the default settings um, the thumb wheel sensitivity smart shift smart shift sensitivity fixed scroll wheel mode ratchet so this one here you can have it set um, if fixed mode is inactive disable smart shift and confirm mode shift isn't assigned to any button yeah I like it like I said, I just leave everything as is. You might want to change it, but that's about it. Now the flow, this is the, this is what I'm talking about. You can change the way it, it goes from one screen to the other. You can actually have it so it just automatically, as soon as you get your mouse to one screen, it just clicks over to the next one, or you can set it to do that once you hold the control and then you move to the edge. Um, you can... Um, don't know what this means screen corners haven't figured that one out yet um, copy and paste obviously meaning you can copy from one one computer move your mouse to the other other computer and it'll actually paste um, link the keyboard don't really want to do that and show the taskbar on the item so that's pretty much it now I'm gonna switch to the Sony RX 100 mark 6 and I'm gonna show you how this actually works. So I'm going to stop this screen recording and then I'm going to show you the actual two computers side by side and I'll show you how the mouse travels from one side to the other. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's enable the flow. Setting up Logitech flow. Computer found. So because I set it up on the other one, it's telling me it's already found the computer. Logitech Flow is enabled and ready to use. So once I hit that, you're going to see these two little boxes here, and you, you, you're given some options here. You can switch between the computers by just moving to the edge, or when you get to the edge, you hold the control and then you move over to the edge. Um, you've also got the screen corners. I don't really know what that does. I haven't had a chance to, to play with that yet. Uh, copy and paste. So this is the this is the amazing thing where you can actually just right click on one computer, move over to the other, and you can copy and paste things. Um, so let's see how this works. So if I move the mouse over to the left, that's where am I? And there you can see the mouse moving over to this side. So let me just go to here. So you can see this screen here is lit up. So when I go back to the right right hand side. Now this one's working here. So that, that seemed to move over almost effortlessly. Now there seems to be a bit of a delay coming back to the computer on the right. But if I just... There's not much of a delay going to, to the left. One, two, three seems to be a, a fair delay as you go back to the right hand computer this one's pretty much instant this one takes a couple of seconds for it to go back now more backups ok 
Okay, so there's nothing in that menu. So I can't seem to find an option for that that sort of delay when you're going from one screen to the other. But I mean, it's not much of an issue. You, I suppose you can get used to that. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. As you can see, mouse. One mouse here. Let me zoom out so you, so you can see I'm not being I'm not tricking you guys. So I'll let me just close that page. Bang. I'll just move over to the left. Close that one down. So let's try and transfer something here. I've got one of these. Um, what have we got here? Uh, I've got one of my old thumbnails for one of my YouTube channels. So I'll just double click on that. Okay, so there's the there's the file for that. Let's see if we can um, let's see if we can drag it across. No, so you can't so you can't drag it across. So you're going to need to copy it and paste. So let's double check that again. That's the file. Close that. Let's um, or is it? Let's copy. And go over to the right hand side here and paste over here and there it is double click and there it is so that's just amazing um, pretty cool if you ask me like I used to spend a lot of time wasting a lot of time trying to get one thing from this computer to the other computer by using one of these USB sticks so that's solved that problem. Um, let's see if I can find a little, a small video. Let's see if we can transfer that. Um, videos. Something small, because most of these are pretty large files. Uh, what's that? 500 meg. 1 gig. gig I'm just trying to find something a small video file six six gig that's no good um, bear with me okay what's this one here okay that seems to be a New Year's Eve celebration somewhere so let's try to copy that and let's see if we can paste that over to the other computer um, well, I didn't like that let's go back again copy paste looks like it's working so you can transfer video files this one's a hundred and what was that um, it's 200 meg, 200 megabytes file, oh, nearly 10 seconds now, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, so it's taken like 30 seconds to transfer that video and let's just open it up where are we there you go so that was that was reasonably fast that was a reasonably fast transfer from this this laptop to that laptop that was 200 megabytes within 20 30 seconds so i'm impressed i am impressed um so there you have it guys the new Logitech MX Master 2S. Um, when I first opened it this morning, I started recording this this morning, and it's been pretty much an all day uh, all day affair. Um, the wife's had a bit of a chance to play with it, and she loves it. I love it that much. It just sits in the hand, so nice. Just, it's just a nice cupping of the mouse. It's it's beautiful. I've got a big hand, so it fits my hand perfectly. The wife had to play with it. She loves it as well. So what did I do? 
already got the one, so what did I do? I went out and bought another one. That's right, I've got two of them now. Uh, I'm going to set that one up on the wife's laptop. Um, she's got a small hand, but she reckons that fits beautifully in her hand. So there you, there you go. Um, two brand new Logitechs. Logitech MX Master 2S mice for my laptop. Um, awesome. Just that moving over to the left side is pretty quick, but coming back to the right side takes a couple of seconds. Um, if anyone, if anyone out there knows how to change that setting, let me know down in the comment section. I'd really like to know that because sometimes when you when you when you're trying to work quickly, you don't want to be waiting three seconds for the mouse to come back. But um, yeah. If anyone knows how to fix that problem, how to sort that out, how to change a setting or something to get it to, because it takes takes less than a second as I'm coming across, but going back to the other side it takes about two to three seconds for it to switch over and come back to the second side. So, apart from that, I'm impressed. Logitech, well done. This is this is an awesome mouse. I love how you can just copy and paste because sometimes I use this. I use my Dell XPS just to video edit. And sometimes I need something. If I'm looking for a, a certain type of emoji or something, I don't like to close down the, my video editing app. I'll just use this laptop, have a quick search, find it, right click, copy, paste, bang, over, done. So I'm impressed. Logitech, thumbs up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. I've got some videos coming up in the future. I've got a few travel videos that I've made over the last, I don't know, couple of months. Uh, I've got, a, got quite a few things on the, on the cards. I am busy. I do work six days a week. I'm flat out, so I struggle to make these videos at the best of times. So thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, make sure you hit the bell notification. That way you're notified each time I upload a new video. So once again, thank you so much for watching. If you know someone who's looking for a mouse, a nice size mouse that fits snugly into the palm, get onto the Logitech MX Master 2S. You won't be disappointed. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Peace.